Good morning, you guys. A long time, no freaking talk. Hello? Like, what? I know it's been such a long time since you guys have seen me on your screen. Of course, the video that I'm coming back with is a boob job. So, welcome to my boob job vlog. You guys, I am so nervous. It is the morning of my boob job. It is 4.53 right now. My appointment's at 6, so I need to get things rolling. I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous. But I know that Dr. Tanasia is going to take good care of me. I'm going to stay ready to go to my appointment. And then I will see you guys when I am on my way. This is my... O O T D. The doctor told me to wear obviously something that buttons up so I can just open it, have my braids on. I have my to go purse and I'm ready to go. I'm very nervous. I'm trying to like calm myself down right now. I can't believe I'm getting a breast augmentation. Like I was gonna say boob. Oh. It's four in the morning. I was gonna say boob job, but I feel like breast augmentation just sounds a little bit like fancier. So welcome to the breast augmentation vlog. Makes sense. I'm getting a breast augmentation. I'm getting a boob drop. I, I'm excited right now, but then once I'm in pain, yeah. I'm getting my final stretches out because once surgery is done, I cannot stretch. Ugh. Okay guys, we are now on the way. My beautiful mother is such such a queen and she is taking me. She's gonna be taking care of me. I'm tired, you guys. <sighs> I'm not tired because I'm nervous. We are 21 minutes away. I am so hungry and I'm so thirsty, but they told me that I couldn't drink anything after 12 a.m. Tuesday. So I'm like, water, like I need that in my life right now. <sighs> yeah, I think it's just you. You think I'm just nervous yeah, that I'm thirsty? who wakes up thirsty? Me, I always <laughs> wake up thirsty. But I'll let you guys know when we're there. Okay guys, we just got to the surgery center. I'm about to walk in. I'm so very calm. It looks like nobody's here. What the heck? Oh, maybe they open at 6. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think anybody's here yet. They probably do open at 6. It's currently 5.58, so I'm assuming I'm the first patient. Imagine, like, this is not my time right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's at 6 a.m.? Yes, look. And it says 6 p.m.? No, it says check in for a 6 a.m. appointment. <sighs> All right, I'll update you guys when they open. So we made it in, and I'm filling out paperwork now. I can't really see it, but it looks pretty, so I have high hopes. <laughs> okay, y'all, I am now in the restroom. I'm about to change. I need to do a urine sample. Like, I, my, it's becoming too good right now. They just told me the procedure is only like 45 minutes. So, <sighs> guys, I'm praying that everything goes well and that this recovery is good and easy. So, let's get changed into this surgical outfit. Okay, guys, outfit is on. I look actually crazy. This is it. Here it is. Don't play with me. <laughs> Ew, don't look at my fucking pee. Ew, it's so gross. But it's the outfit, you guys. <sighs> I'm in my room. Then I'm gonna get surgery in. I don't know, it still hasn't even hit me. Like, it's hitting me, but it's not hitting me. I have to lay down right here. The nurses are still gonna come talk to me. And <sighs> this for you I'm not your Chona right now. Yay. Just because it has a doctor. The doctor's in Asia. <laughs> but I'm not altering it for you. So instead of putting cups for drains and all this other stuff that you are not going to need, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to put like extra glasses and an extra bra and the okay. way it's tailored for your person. Oh, perfect. Thank you yeah. so much. Did you guys think this is oh, so cute. Thank you. You guys, they just marked me. And wait, that sounds really wrong. They just like put all the markings down for my boobs. I still, like, it's still not hitting me. Like, I'm about to be put to sleep and opened up. It's okay, I'm gonna knock out. Put the IV, knock out. Wake up. Booms. Yes, I'm about to get my IV put, and I think that's what I'm more scared oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> so I cannot do needles, you guys. Okay, guys, I just got the IV. I have it in. I think this is my first time ever having IV in my arm, which is like actually scary and like nerve wracking. But I know that Karen for her bachelorette, she was like, I'm gonna have IV pumping in through all of you guys. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm a little bit prepared, but I don't like the feeling. Like, I don't like the feeling of a needle going into my arm or something going into my body, literally getting boob surgery as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Five hours later. Okay, guys, I just got out of surgery. I'm really, really chilly, so I have the chills. But I, when I, oh, I can't even speak. So I'm so cold. Um, I literally fell asleep. I was dreaming and everything. I wish I could remember my dream, but I don't. But I just remember like dreaming, you know. And then I, I was waking up, and I was like, oh my god, I'm waking up during surgery. Like I'm gonna feel everything. But they told me that I was ready. So yeah, you guys, I'm excited and I don't know if I, I want anything bigger or no. 
Is it okay? They're okay. They look big. Or not? They do. Your problems? This. Like, would you see me and be like, she has big boobs? Yes. Okay. That's Bye. all I wanted. Are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. Okay. All right, you guys, she's out. Um, so you're just gonna lean forward and I'll hit your feet, catch you, okay? So we'll go ahead and put our feet down. Are you ready? Okay guys, I am out, I am in the car. Right now I feel okay y'all, I just feel a lot, a lot of pressure like on my chest. Feeling really, like mainly on my on my right side of my boob. I can't really breathe that well right now. They said that that's normal. I'm really excited to just go and lay down on my bed. Anesthesia, like they said I was supposed to feel nauseous. I don't get, thankfully, I don't know if I'm gonna feel it later. Thank you to my beautiful mother for waiting and picking me up. And thank you to Dr. Tanasia, all the staff, everybody was super sweet, made me feel super comfortable. I'll update you guys throughout the day, see how I'm feeling. Bye! Hey guys, we just got to the house. I'm starting to feel a lot more pressure in my chest right now. But I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna eat, and then hopefully take meds, go to sleep. My mom's gonna take me out right now. Hey guys, so I'm gonna take her out. Hey y'all, my mom made me some oatmeal. This is my food, and then I have some saltine crackers. This is my little setup going on. I thought that it would be fine to reach over, but I can't even grab that. So right now, I'm just about to eat, watch some TV, chill. But cheers to my oatmeal. Thank you to my beautiful mother. I'm taking my first medication of the day. That was one. And then I think I have to take one more. That was a big old pill. I have to take that one four times a day. Um, my mom's doing her, her research over there because she she's playing doctor right now. <laughs> okay, patient. <laughs> this girl. Uh, okay, no, so that's it. Oh, so Norco, one? we can take it only if needed. Oh, okay. As needed for pain. Are you in pain? You're fine. You, you okay. can take it right yeah, now. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need to take it. Well, I just took my first pill. I don't have to take any others. Y'all heard that. And I'm probably just going to try to go to sleep, watch a little bit of TV because I'm tired. You're recording? I feel so heavy right now. I, can't, I feel like I'm going to explode. But my mom's going to get me up because I need to walk a little bit. So I'm not just laying down, but it hurts when I breathe. So let's get together. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. hurts so bad like i don't even know how to like explain the pain not i like the pain but like the discomfort you know what i mean like it literally feels like i don't even know what's going on like a weight fell on my chest so we're gonna go take a little walk right now because i've been laying down and my back kind of hurts so i'll see you guys Good morning, you guys. I know I look crazy, so swollen. I still feel like a fucking rock balloon right now. Chest hurts so bad. It's day two. It's 9.40 in the morning right now. I have to eat breakfast because I need to take my medication. But I'm going to try to take no painkillers today because I heard it slows down your healing process and I want to be over with this because it is fucking... Look, this is what it's looking like right now. Can't really see. We're going to open the bra today so I can see my titties because I haven't seen them and they need to breathe. This is my little breakfast that I have right here. Some toast and oatmeal and then I have my medication waiting for me. Okay, guys, oh it is later on in the day of recovery. I actually look freaking insane. Like, you guys, I've just been up, out of breath, laying down, really haven't done anything. But Lena, honey, my best friend that won. She came to visit me. You guys, she was the first to visit me and she brought me a little basket. And it had crumble cookies, but I already ate them. Look how cute. It has a little Lego and then some face masks and the book because we want to go watch the movie. So I told her I want to read, read it, it before. I said she has to read it and she has to write me a book report. Oh, what the fuck? I haven't done a book report, <laughs> you guys, since I was in high school. So we'll see, but I love you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna take my medication and go to bed because honestly, I'm just in a lot of pain I haven't taken any pain meds, but I've been taking the antibiotics. So I love y'all. Good night Wow, I am very very much still looking rough. It's day five and I just ate Like why I literally have no self-control. I was like, I'm gonna eat so good while I can't work out but it's Sunday, so I'm treating myself. Hey guys, right now, I still feel very heavy. But I've just been really taking a break and have been doing nothing. Just been laying down, you know, walking back and forth. So there's nothing really to vlog. I do have my post-op appointment on Tuesday. So I'm excited for that. I will be bringing you guys along and that will complete a week. Yeah, you guys, it's been pretty much just laying down on my phone. I started reading It Ends With Us. 
and eating so hello you guys good morning i am six days post-op right now i'm about to go to my one week post-op appointment and i'm excited to see what the doctor has to tell me i'm actually really nervous like speaking about it just made me nervous right now this is what we're looking like right now and we'll see what they told me i'm with my mother of course thanks queen she's a queen she's been taking care of me i'll take care of her next you owe me a boob job this girl you, owe me a boob job. you look like my mom now <laughs> We just got here and I'm about to put my jacket on. It feels good knowing that I'm not about to come and get surgery. It still like hurts you guys because I could feel all of my boob like in, oh, in my armpit. Certain things like certain movements just kind of hurt a little bit. Oh, I look big, big old chest. <laughs> we are now in the room about to change um, into the gowns that they give you. You guys, the room is giving me flashbacks to when I was getting surgery. Like it's just so scary and like cold. Like oh, it was freaking me out. The gown is on. Hey, hey, shake that booty. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are out of my appointment. I swear that he took like 20 minutes max. He said everything is looking good and that I'm healing nicely and quickly. I cannot wait to get back to normal and start wearing my normal clothes. I am so thankful that everything worked out good. The surgery went good and I had my beautiful family, my mom, my sister, my grandma, all of them helping me and taking care of me because that really, really, really made me feel a lot better and a lot of my friends came to visit me they brought me flowers like it's just been really good and i'm glad i have a huge huge support system around me dr tanasia i love you and your team so much like thank you guys so much for making me feel so comfortable and making me look good because now i got titties girl so if you guys want to book your consultations with dr tanasia i'm gonna leave his at down in the description i love you guys and thank you guys for coming on this journey with me i'll see you guys i'm gonna make like a get ready with me talking about all the questions you guys might have make sure you guys comment like subscribe all of that and follow all of my socials i will link them down below but yeah i can't believe it's been one week already so love you guys bye